Hey everyone, welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday. I missed out yesterday. I just needed I needed sleep. I really needed sleep. I was exhausted. So uh, all I did yesterday was sleep, wake up, have a bath, go back to sleep. And then I woke up this morning and I still feel tired. So I definitely needed all of that sleep. Today, it is supposed to be my day off, but I have some training at work. So I've got a few hours of training. And then I am going to see my mother, which I cannot wait for. I always get excited to go see my mum. I am taking volumes three and four of Kaijo and Rate with me to training and my mum. So if I can get any sort of reading done for some any reason, I will I will fit it in. I want to apologise because apparently I cannot not think out loud. So if I don't know what I'm going to say next, I say um. Um, 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 that's all you've had for my videos. I've watched some back. I, I generally post and then try not to watch them because cringe. Um, mm -hmm. see, so I try not to post, uh, I try not to post them. No, I try to post them. That was an issue at the start. <laughs> um, I rest my case. I rest my case. You can make a drinking game out of my, my, um, video, so. Every time Emma says, um, take a shot. I don't recommend it because you will be on the floor. But change alcohol to water. That'll be your water intake for the week. So I do apologise if that is so annoying. Tuesday. I've woke up. Put some scuffs on. Just to nip into work. Do some training. Go to my mum's. Probably watch some crime scene like criminal minds or csi or some sort of murderous then no one else fall asleep watching like serial killer stuff or should i post that or not my husband's safe i swear i just it just intrigues me of how minds work and that's that's why should i post that or do I sound really, really weird? I am weird. Quirky. Quirky. I need to stop filming. This is why my videos are long. I could just go on a tangent, don't I? All you needed to know was it's Tuesday. I've got training at work for a few hours. Then I'm going to see my mum. I'm going to try and do some reading in, in between those. I will update you when I do. And I'm going to unwrap a book later. And that was it. What's that? Seconds. Did I have an um in there? Probably. Um, another shot of water. <laughs> so I'm back from both my training and my mum's. I am about to have a bath because it has been very windy today. Very cold. Going to have a bath. Nice lush bath bomb, as you do. Then I'm going to try and read some of volume three because I have not managed to read any yet today. And I think that's all I've got to update you on. I'm having a bath and I'm reading a book. So today's Wednesday, I have been on training for work, I spent some time with my in-laws which was lovely, I love going around their house and just spending some time with them, then what did I do, I've, I've done some reading today and finished both volumes 3 and 4 of Kaijo number 8, there is not enough words to tell you how much I'm loving this series. I want the next volume now. 
but it does mean I need to pick another one. I never know which shelf to go on. I think the first time Daniel picked one from the bottom, the second one, second time I picked from the middle. So maybe from the top. And we'll just, I, I'll just grab one. There we go. We're going with this one. This is the one. So the book that came out was Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. An absolute triumph. Squish it written extensive satisfying Stacey Hall. Ooh, I've read a few of those. Light up the room. Like Nelly Moon. Hang on. At least I know what it's about. In 1866, in a coastal village in southern England, Nell picks violets for a living. Set apart from her community because of the birthmarks that sparkle her skin, Nell's world is her beloved brother and devoted to the state. But when Jasper Jupiter's Circus of Wonders arrives in the village, Nella is kidnapped. Her father has sold her, promising J uh, Jasper Jupiter his very own leopard girl. It is the greatest portrayal of Nell's life. But as her fame grows and she finds friendship with other performers and Jasper's, uh, and Jasper's gentle brother, Toby, she begins to wonder if joining the show is the best thing that has ever happened to her. In London... Newspapers describe Nell as the eighth wonder of the world. Figurines are cast in her image and crowds rush to watch her soar through the air. But who gets to tell Nell's story? What happens when her fame threatens to eclipse that of the showman who brought her? And as she falls in love with Toby, can he detach himself from his past and the terrible secret that binds him to his brother? Sounds good. So... How nice is that colour? That is so lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That sounds so good, doesn't it? Anyone else? No? Has anyone read this? If you have, leave a comment down below. No spoilers. But leave a comment to say that you have read it and how many stars you gave it out of five. Ooh, I might start this tonight. You know, when I can't sleep and my husband's snoring. So that was all the updates I wanted to do. I wanted to get a new book with finishing the manga that I uh, picked last time and just update you of what I've been doing today. So training, spending time with the in-laws, taking Beanie for a walk, uh, reading and now picking a new book. I'm actually enjoying the whole wrap them up because this has been on my shelf for a while and why didn't I read it already? I keep buying more books. I mean, I think that's the hoarder in me. Or just the bookish person in me. I want to own them all. But I need to read them all. <laughs> I need the gift of time. <laughs> so today is Thursday. I am at work tonight. So today I have just been... I've actually just been sorting through some of my crafty supplies so like my ritual supplies and stuff to see what I need to top up on. I couldn't sleep last night so I started Circus of Wonders that I'd unwrapped. I am finding it very addictive. It's very page turny worthy. I seem to be flying through it for some reason. I'm already 170 pages into it. I just really like being around the atmosphere of like circus vibes. So The Greatest Showman is one of my all time favourite movies. And in here, it obviously, it mentions Bo Barnum. I'm loving that. And I'm loving the hustle and bustle of like circus life and the romance parts in it. That's like very, very slowly building. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm going to read some more, probably. I do need to try and get some sleep before my night shift because I don't want to make myself poorly again by doing everything but sleep. But other than that, there's not much for me to update you on. Really loving it. I'm going to get back to it, read some more with my little pooch. Friday 
So I wanted to jump on and tell you that I have finished Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. I really enjoyed this. I really, really did. I loved the circus setting in it. I loved following... There was three protagonists that you follow. One was Nell herself, who is a girl that has um, like a leopard, leopard print naturally on her skin, who gets sold to the owner of the circus. So Nell's father sells her for £20 to the circus master showman, who is Jasper. So you also see Jasper's point of view and you also see Jasper's brother Toby's point of view also throughout the book. And I did not expect it to end the way it did. And I really enjoyed it. And then a sneaky book that I sneaked in, because I actually finished that very, very quickly. And I've been wanting to get more into fitness and stuff. And I've been doing, I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but it's like virtual challenges. So you can walk, you can run, you can ride a bike, anything with distance. So you could be on like a cross trainer or anything like that. Anything that you can put a distance in, you can count to your mileage on your virtual challenge. And at the end, you sign, there's all different ones, all different um, distances. And in the end, once you've reached the goal, they will send you out a medal for all your hard work. So I have been, I constantly do these. So when I take Bean for walks, when I try and run again, I, I used to be a runner. I loved running. Then I had some, have some health issues that stopped me most of the time from running. But I've been wanting to slowly like try and get back into it. I know that there's certain things health wise that's coming up that's going to stop me again soon but for the time being I am very motivated to do it so I picked up Jog On by Bella Mackey and like some of the descriptions what she says about mental health and stuff it like really hit it on the head the nail on the head you know what I mean for me this is basically a book that we're running saved her life to get over her like anxieties and that's how what it used to do to me also because there is no like I have dabbled into like CrossFit and lifting and that lot and there's no better feeling than an after run feeling you can do any workout and you don't feel as good as you do after you've been for a run I miss that so much that's that's the most thing that draws me back to running because I'm not a natural runner I struggle the whole time I'm out there I'm like, can I stop yet? Can I stop yet? But I don't. And that's the way you feel proud of yourself. And when I feel like I've earned my medals. I just found it really, really good. I actually brought the journal to go along with it. But I haven't. Because I will reread this. More motivation. <gasps> I will be skinny. But anyway, I went through those books. And I really wanted to come on because I need to pick a new one. I do have a poetry book that I really want to read so I'm also but they I normally get through them with a nice cup of tea and cozy vibes so I might actually read that read my poetry book tonight and then whatever I pick off here start either later tonight if I can't sleep because I'm gonna sleep all day or start tomorrow I'm just gonna pick one at random I don't I can't even remember what shelves we've which one we picked off last. I think we've done all three now. I'm not sure. But I am just gonna Savage. Feels chunky. It's making me nervous. That big gap there. I love this paper. I've actually got bookmarks that match this paper when I went to the Natural History Museum because they were so cheap. So I've got the ones with animals on, I've got the ones with dinosaurs on. What have we got? Ooh, the Winter Garden. So we have the Winter Garden by Alexandra Bell. I'm so glad that I did this wrapping up thing because there's so many books like this one that I've been wanting to get to. So I will read my poetry book first. Crack on with this. Um, ooh, fine book plate. Always fun. Welcome to the Winter Garden open only at 13 o'clock. On the night her mother dies, eight-year-old Patrice receives an invitation to a mysterious winter garden, a place of wonder and magic filled with all manner of strange sublime flora and fauna. The garden is her solace every night for seven days. 
But when the garden disappears and no one believes her story, Patrice is left to wonder if it was truly real. 18 years later, on the eve of her wedding to a man her father approved of, but she does not love, Patrice makes the decision to throw off the expectations of Victorian English society and search for the garden. But when both she and her closest friend Rosa receive invitations to compete to create spectacular pleasure gardens, with the prize being one life-changing wish, she realises she may be closer to finding it than she ever imagined. Now all she has to do is win. Sounds so cosy with it being like garden vibes wintery. Yeah, looking forward to getting into that. Like I say, I am going to stick this in. <laughs> like I say, I am going to read the poetry book first because I'm in the mood. We're in Iceboro. Hopefully my husband will make me one. I will read my poetry, then I'll get straight into this one and I will update you tomorrow with if I, if I actually read anything because you know how plans can change. So today's Saturday, I've just got to my mum's. I just wanted to drop on and say I did read a poetry book last night, The Sea of Strangers by Langleave. Very much enjoyable. The one that stuck out the most to me was one called All the Time. Did you find your ever after? Is there somewhere you belong? Is your world now filled with laughter? Is there nothing for which you long? Do you ever look behind you and wonder about what you see? When the memories come to find you, do you ever think of me? Do you think that love can lessen if you pretend it isn't there? Do you ever question what could have been if we did? Are you happy to let it linger? Does it ever cross your mind? The world that slipped through our fingers, I think about it all the time. I did start the Winter Garden. I only read the prologue of it and then it was nanites for me. But yeah, I'll update you later if I read any more and once I get back from my mum's. My mum was just telling me about a bit of like news that she's seen online. You know that 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 place, um, Shane, Shane, and I'm like, I don't know Shane, and she was like, you do with the clothes, and I went, do you mean Sheen? And she was like, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've just been absolutely laughing my head off. Oh, see, this is why we need to protect my mum at all costs. She's just amazing. <laughs> I got, I had to tell you, sorry. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday. We are currently at Rufford Abbey. It is Abbey, isn't it? Yeah. We are currently at Rufford Abbey on our normally Sunday family walk. So every Sunday I have off, we go somewhere to go for a walk. And this morning it's Rufford. The pooch is living her best life. It is so cold. <laughs> I'm literally having to wipe tears away from this eye from the cold. <laughs> but we love our family walks, so it's worth it. So I'm now back from our walk. I've spent a little bit of time reading. Sundays for us are just normally cosy, staying in relaxing days because I only have um, every other weekend off. So when we do get a Sunday, we like a family walk in the morning and then tr try and relax in the afternoon. Tea time or catch up on jobs. But I thought I'd jump on and finish this week's vlog now. I managed to read more books than I actually thought. I finished the Kaijo number eight, volumes three and four, at the very beginning of the week. Then I finished The Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil which I really enjoyed. Then I finished Jogger On by Bella Mackey. And then I finished Sea of Strangers by Langley. And I have started The Winter Garden, which was the last book I unwrapped from my reading challenge. And I am so far 178 pages into this. And I am really enjoying the atmosphere it's so cozy i am loving it i'm i'm sort of wishing that this was one of the books i didn't wrap just because next week if you're unaware is polathon which is a reading readathon that is hosted by Jade from jd ray reads and i take part every every year she's been doing them twice a year or so um 
and um, this one is a week long and I have actually put some annual leave in so I am at work Monday Tuesday but then off the weekend because of my annual leave so I can fully participate in Polathong and I'm really excited and one one of the this year there's um a wheel involved and you spin the wheel and then the wheel's got prompts on and one of the prompts is and um I'm trying to remember now is a cold word on on the book so winter would have been perfect but you never know I might still be reading it next week I'm hoping to get a chunk of it read tonight um, so I can start a fresh slate. I might regret saying this and posting this, but I am I am trying to do the seven books in seven days that Jade also does. I won't be able to vlog every day for seven days because work the first two days I've got work, so I am trying to do the seven books in seven days. But I will be filming each of my spins and I will link the video down below um, of Jade telling you more about the actual read -a -thon. And please, if you can, I will be myself donate to the Polar Bear Foundation that she um, is raising money for during Polarthon because it's a really good course and who doesn't want to save the polar bears? Very good reading week. I can't believe how much I've actually managed to get done. Really happy with this week's reads. I'm very much looking forward to Polathon, the challenge. I love I love a good reading challenge. So that's why I set the... I'm just hoping my first two spins, because I'm at work the first two days, I'm hoping I could pick books. I get prompts where I can pick books that are shorter, like maybe middle grade or manga or uh, graphic novels or something of that sort. Knowing me, I'll end up having a big chunker of a book. So I hope you are all well and safe. And I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Please like if you did like the video. Leave a comment if you have read any of the books that I've mentioned. If you are taking part in Polathon. And I'll see you next week for the Polathon vlog. Bye! <laughs>